Better late than never, I guess. So, yep, we're back. It's about time we get to it, right? Here's the review of Into the Badlands Season 2, Episode 8. This episode was incredible. So much stuff was going down. So much stuff was happening. All the characters had their moments. So much great action. I love this episode. I liked it more than last week's, so that's for sure. Uh, we got two episodes left after this. Man, this show's coming to an end. And it's going to be tough because I don't think I've enjoyed watching a series so much as much as I have this one in a long time. It's been so fun and so entertaining. I really did like Quinn in this episode. I've liked Quinn in all the previous episodes. I was really surprised to see him come back at the beginning. But seeing him back and how much of a villain and bad guy he's become is just really incredible. He's probably one of the most compelling characters on the show to me because he's going to die. He has to die again. He's losing his mind, but everything he's doing in between that is so great. He marries Vale in this episode because he wants Henry to be his son, and I think that's incredible. He's going crazy, and I just think it's amazing the way he's been acting, everything he's doing. It's just really great to see him become this bigger bad guy in the series. He's doing all this weird shit. I mean, he technically is a baron, so he can marry as many people as he wants. You can look, though. You can see Lydia's a little, like, against him or with him. I don't know where she sides anymore. Is Lydia with him or against him? I don't really care. I just want her to do something incredible. I'm a big fan of Lydia. And she didn't really do much this episode or in the past couple of episodes. I really wanted to do something big and entertaining. But she will. She obviously will. She'll play a bigger part in the next episodes coming up. She has to. And Vale in this episode, the way she held herself against Quinn and everything going on with her, she did really great. And the scene when they're, they're making love, you can tell she's just ready to kill him. I really wish she stabbed him or did something, but I think the tension and the whole scene building up to it, everything about that, it made sense, it worked for me, I loved seeing her kind of like just ready to do it, but then somebody walks in, I thought that was incredible, you can tell, you can tell she was going to do it, she would have done it, and I like that she was going to do it, I think that was really great, but somebody walked in. Vale is a really great character this season. I liked everything about her that we saw. She's really been through so much, and she's done probably more than anybody in trying to escape and get into the Badlands and all that kind of stuff. I really did like Vale. She was just incredible in this episode. I was blown away. I was. I wish she killed Quinn. That whole story I thought was a great side piece to everything else going on. And I did like the relationship between Quinn and the Widow in this episode. You can tell the Widow's got something else planned for him, but that's okay. And when they both go on this killing spree to get the Barons, I thought that was really incredible. Uh, like, the weird, like, what was it, like, the beard guy and all of them. Interesting that they killed the male Barons and not the female one. Was Baron Chow, I think her name was? Interesting how that happened. Almost like this show's about female empowerment. Maybe that's a thing that we haven't seen in the show yet. Just kidding. We've obviously seen female empowerment in the show with literally every female character. I just thought that was interesting. I guess that Baron Chow is a character that we want to see more of, doing more things. And she was really great in this episode. I don't know who the actress is that plays Baron Chow, but I just really liked her. She had a presence. You can tell that I believe that this person is a Baron and that she had to fight to get there. And if she really wants to keep her power, when she finds out that these people died, I believed her. I completely believed everything going on of her in this situation and all that stuff, and she was a really great addition to the cast. I don't want to see her as a main character. Something tells me she could die down the line, because, you know, Sunny's made an enemy of her now, so is the Widow. It's going to be really interesting to see how that goes. But going back to Quinn and the Widow, killing the Barons, that was really great to see. Their relationship, I, want, I know something else is going to happen there. Can't wait to see what that's going to be. Can't wait to see what might happen with them. Really intriguing. Really great stuff. Let's get to Sunny. This was a great Sunny. It's always Sunny in the Badlands. Hopefully, because we're there now. Sunny is in the Badlands. He's going to find Vale, and he's gotten closer now than he ever has before. He gets captured by Baron Chow, though, right away, by an army of Storm Shadow motherfuckers. Like, honest to God, I thought those were a bunch of Storm Shadows. If you haven't seen G.I. Joe, you probably don't know who Storm Shadow is, but those are a bunch of Storm Shadows. It's about the mass. And the bus scene when they're fighting around the bus and all that, I thought that was great. All the crossbows getting stuck into the bus. We have crossbows but no guns. Can we get guns at some point? I have a feeling, this is just some random thing I'm just going to say right now. I do have a feeling we will see one gun. The last gun in existence. And I do think it's going to be a main character who's been having it this whole time. Could be the master. Could be the master. I could kind of see that angle going there. Uh, could be Quinn. Could be somebody. I do think we're going to see a gun. There's going to be a limited amount of bullets, but I do think we are going to see a gun. 
that's just me. Anything is possible. So they get captured, and Baji and Sonny are talking about a plan to escape, saying that Baji's the smooth talker, but here's Sonny like, no, I got a plan. And, you know, he reveals himself to Chow's people, like, yeah, I'm a clipper, let me see your Baron, and then they come up with a great plan. I gotta give Hughes props to Sonny. That was a brilliant plan, he used MK as bait to get the Widow out, so now he can go find the Widow and go find Quinn. He didn't know Quinn was alive, I thought that was... Sonny's just smart. And I really liked how they played that. That Sonny is a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. He's not stupid. That really helped me like the character more. And I just thought it was great. So the plan works. Baji thinks he betrayed him, but he didn't. Baji's, again, a great character with Baji. He's just, you know, on his own the whole time. He just wants to do his thing. And he, he does, you can tell, he does care about Sonny and MK, and he wants to help them. So when he finds out that Sonny did slip him something to help him escape, I get it. He's a good guy. Gets on a motorcycle. So happy about that. Oh, man. Big guy on motorcycle. Just incredible. Nick Frost knocking it out of the park again. Get to a scene. Turns out the trap was revealed because that was the trap. That was the point. The Widow comes to get MK, and we have a fight. You can see the Widow reveals that she knows where Vale is, and now that Quinn's alive, Sonny's like, oh, shit, I gotta go get Vale from Quinn. So in the middle of the alliance with the Storm Shadows and Chow, Sonny switches to another side. So now he and the Widow are fighting Chow in the Storm Shadows. Oh, Sonny, you just can't go anywhere without making enemies. I, <laughs> it's so funny, man. It's just it's just so great. I really like this episode for all the alliances and things that happen. You can see things are going down. There's two Barons killed in this episode. How is that going to affect the story going forward? What's going to happen with Quinn? All these characters, they're really interesting and fun. Great fight scene of everybody fighting the Storm Shadows. I thought that was really cool. MK... And Tilda reuniting. I liked it. I'm not a big fan of Tilda's character at times. I'm not a big fan of MK's at times. But together you can see the two of them have kind of this like silent chemistry and silent way of thinking to each other. It's like, yeah, it's so good to see you again. Could there be a relationship that develops there? Maybe. It's possible. I would be okay if we saw one. I think that would really work for those characters. And Sunny and the Widow, really great fighting together back to back. That was really cool. I like them. And it's there's gonna be stuff happening there, Sonny. You can't just <laughs> you piss everyone off. It was Nos a couple of episodes before. It was Silver Moon before that. Now you pissed off Baron Chow. You are gonna leave a trail of bodies just like Silver said, and that's what you're doing. God damn it, Sonny. Just get your life together. Go get your wife. She's kind of having sex with this weird Southern man. Shit's going down, man. It's crazy. But now it is revealed that Quinn knows Sonny is coming for Vale and he's preparing for war. But who's he gonna what's gonna happen? Is he gonna ask the widow to help him? A lot of shit's going down. So much things going on. This was such a fun episode, really lighthearted. And at times when the dialogue fails this show. Because if we're being honest, the writing's not perfect on the show. There's times where the delivery or the writing just kind of falls flat, and not only the great stuff is there. It delivers on the action. And it definitely delivers on the costumes. The Storm Shadow costumes, Baron Chow costumes, all of the costumes look so great, and the body work with all those symbols from the Clippers on Quinn and on Sunny, they look so great and so linear. I just thought it was really great to see. What a fun and interesting episode this was. I can't wait to see the next two. It's going to be really fun. Uh, thank you for waiting for this review. I know it's a bit late, but things happen, you know. It's life. I will catch you guys in the next video, and good luck.